Hello, brothers and sisters. I just think that I came up with a major revelation between the two cows with the sevens on their heads in September 25th, 2014. Noah's Ark, according to the true messianic calendar in 2021, and the two signs of Jonah. All right, get ready to have your minds blown. Previously, I had a prophetic dream of Jesus coming to meet me and lifting me off the ground. And after he told us to let our pets go free, after we are taken out into our glorified bodies, he, he uh, gave us, my dad and I, a golden bracelet and a golden necklace halo, like around uh, the neck. And he said, when you're ready, meet me in heaven for a cup of coffee. This prophetic dream today I was driving, and I, I heard the Holy Spirit say, Go to that Burger King. So I went there, and I got a double cheeseburger. And instead of a soda, I got a cup of coffee. Right after that, I saw the two cows uh, with the sevens on their heads video. And I put two and two together. A secondary note, I was opening up the wrapper of the burger, and I saw the golden crown. Now, the current Hebrew civic or civil calendar is not correct. The current Gregorian calendar is um, not correct because it floats through the months. It continues on and on forever. The lunar calendar by itself is not correct because it floats through the seasons. Now the ancients, they would look at the sun, the moon, and the stars in order to orient their years. They would look for the spring equinox, the first sliver after the new moon, in order to... Um, count that it was a Nissan 1 in order to correct their Mohedim, which is God's calendar. And I'm going to put a little video clip proving that. Also, uh, the Sabbath days, the Saturdays, go by the lunar calendar, and it'll show um, which Saturdays and which are the actual real Sabbath days in this video. All right, here you go. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath. For people wanting to obey the Bible commandments, the question is, which is day one? All can count to seven, but where does the count begin? How can you know which is the true seventh day? The creator who made the week also designed a month in which to place that week. The calendar of creation begins with new moon day, followed by four complete weeks. Each week contains six work days and a seventh day Sabbath rest. In the beginning, the Creator designed the movement of the sun and the moon to measure time. Let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night, and let them be for signs and for seasons, religious gatherings, and for days and years. Two great lights were set in the firmament of the heaven to rule over the day and over the night. Time can be measured only by movement. The movement of the sun measures a day. In 365 and a quarter days, the sun and the earth return to the same relative position. This is one solar year. The moon's 29 and a half day rotation measures a lunation, which is the basis of the month. Twelve and a third lunations are the same length as a solar year. There are three basic calendar formats using the movements of the sun and the moon. One solar, two lunar, 
three loony solar. Number one, solar, the measurement of the movement of Earth and Sun. Solar calendars use the sun for measuring the length of the year only. Months of arbitrary length have no link to nature. On the Gregorian solar calendar, weeks cycle continuously. Even leap day every four years does not disrupt the continuous weekly cycle. Lunar, the measurement of the moon's rotation. Lunar calendars are based strictly on the cycles of the moon. Months, which begin the first dawn after conjunction, cycle continuously without adjustment to the solar year. Because 12 lunations are 11 days shorter than a solar year, lunar months float through the seasons. Lunisolar lunar months anchored to the solar year. The sun and the moon functioning together make a loony solar calendar. Lunations are adjusted to the longer solar year by adding a 13th month seven times in 19 years. The weekly cycle restarts with every new moon. Each lunation has four complete weeks. The calendar established at creation is lunisolar. It is the most accurate and precise of all timekeeping systems. In scripture, each lunation starts with the celebration of a special day of worship, New Moon Day. New Moon Day starts with the first dawn after the astronomical new moon also known as the conjunction. Six work days follow and then a seventh day Sabbath on the eighth of the month. Three more weeks follow ending on the 29th. Through measurement and calculation in the days leading up to the 29th, the time of conjunction is revealed so one can determine if the month has 29 or 30 days. No month ever has more than 30 days. The true loony solar calendar is very user-friendly. Days of the week always fall on the same dates of the month. Every time a Seventh-day Sabbath in Scripture is assigned a date, it always falls on the 8th, 15th, 22nd, and 29th days of the month. Scripture states that the moon was created specifically to measure times for worship. He appointed, created, the moon for seasons, that is, worship times. Creation week ended with the Sabbath day's rest. Exodus 31 states that the Sabbath is to be kept throughout all generations. Verily my Sabbaths ye shall keep, for it is a sign between me and you throughout your generations, that ye may know that I am your Maker that doth sanctify you. The Seventh-day Sabbath was designed by the Creator to be the sign of loyalty between Himself and His people. The enemy, Lucifer, has changed the civil calendar and stolen the worship due to the Creator. Through tradition and assumption, Lucifer has united the world in using a solar calendar with continuously cycling weeks. When one worships, reveals whom he worships. All who use a solar calendar for calculating their days of worship are unknowingly giving their allegiance and worship to the great deceiver. Those desiring to show their allegiance to the Creator will worship Him on the day He has designated. To find the correct day of worship, the loony solar calendar established at creation must be used.
Scripture reveals that the calendar used for worship throughout all eternity will be based upon the new moon. And it shall come to pass that from one new moon to another, and from one Sabbath to another, shall all flesh come to worship before me. Whom do you worship? To whom do you give your allegiance? The calendar you use to measure time for worship reveals the deity you worship. Okay, so the two signs of Jonah, there wasn't one, there was two signs of Jonah. Jesus said in the last days, there won't be any signs except for the signs of Jonah. There were two signs this year. Back in 2014, September 25th, there were two cows with two sevens on their head. And I put down Noah's Ark and the 70 days from each time um, the sign of Jonah happened. So here we go. June 11th, Savan 1. This is Eid al Fitr, breaking of the Ramadan fast. Michael was swallowed by a whale. Real world happening. Michael was a lobster diver and he went diving and he was swallowed by a whale on June 11th, 2021. In 40 days from now, it'll be July 21st to Moose 11. I found no, co no correlation in this. Number three. In 70 days, it will be August 20th, or of 12, the day Noah sent the raven and dove out of the ark, and the dove came back. Two, 14 days in between. Two cows, seven and seven is 14 days. June 25th, Savan 15. The birth and path, passing of Juna, 1565 to 1446 BCE, happened on Savan 15. Jonah Hayden was saved from a collapsed building and the strawberry full supermoon, the blood moon, happened this day. Uh, 70 days from now will be September 3rd or of 26. The day Noah sent the dove out again and didn't come back. And 70 days later from each of these signs, August 20th of 12. This is 40 days after July 11th to Moses 11 when Noah saw tops of mountains the first day of the fourth or tenth before Moses. The Noah sent raven and dove out of the ark and the dove came back. Seven days after Michael, the real life scuba diver was swallowed by the whale. June 11th, Savon 1st, to 14 days in between, seven and seven. September 3rd of 26, Noah sent out the dove again and it didn't come back. This is 70 days since Jonah Hayden was saved from the rubble on June 25th or Savon 15. So the numbers, seven, the meaning of numbers, the number seven used 735 times, 54 times in the book of Revelation alone. The number seven is the foundation of God's word. If we include this count, how many times seven fold six and seven, seventh, 119 is used. Our total jumps to 860 references. Seven is the number of completeness and perfection, both physical and spiritual. It derives much of its meaning from being tied directly to God's creation of all things. According to some Jewish traditions, the creation of Adam occurred on September 26, 3760 BC, or the first day of Tishri, which is the seventh month on the Hebrew calendar. The word created is used seven times describing God's creative work. Genesis 1 1, 21, 27, three times, 21, 3, 21, 4. There are seven days in a week, and God's Sabbath is on the seventh day. The Bible as a whole was originally divided into seven major divisions. They are one, the law, two, the prophets, three, the writings or Psalms, four, the gospels and acts, five, the general epistles, six, the epistles of Paul, and seven, the book of Revelation. The total number of originally inspired books is 49 or seven times seven, seven and seven, demonstrated the absolute perfection of the word of God. Number two, 14. The meaning of numbers, the number 14, being a multiple of 7, or 7 times 2, 14 partakes of the importance in being double that number implies the double measure of spiritual perfection. The number 2, which it is in combined, 2 times 7 may, however, bring its own significance in its meaning. 
as it does in Matthew 1, where the genealogy of Jesus Christ is divided up and given in sets of 14, 2 times 7, 7 and 7 generations, 2 being associated with an incarnation. You guys, I'm shaking right now. How is the number 14 linked with Jesus' ancestors? There are three sets of 14 generations between and including Abraham to Joseph, husband of Mary. 70. 70 has a sacred meaning in the Bible that is made up of the factors of two perfect numbers, seven representing perfection and ten representing completeness in God's law. As such, it symbolizes perfect spiritual order carried out of, with all power. It can also represent a period of judgment. Seventy elders were appointed by Moses, Numbers eleven sixteen. After reading the covenant God made him to read to the people, Moses took seventy elders along with Aaron and his sons, up Mount Sinai to have a special meal with God himself. Exodus 24, 9 through 11. Ancient Israel spent a total number of 70 years in captivity in Babylon, Jeremiah 29, 10. 70 is also specially connected with Jerusalem. The city kept 70 years of Sabbaths while Judah was in Babylon, captivity, Jeremiah 25, 11. 70 sevens, 490 years, were determined upon Jerusalem for it to complete its transgressions to make an end for sins and for everlasting righteousness to enter into it. Daniel 9:24. 77 or two sevens. While the number 77 rarely occurs in the Bible, far more common is the appearance of double sevens, which of which have a special meaning. Noah wanted to determine the status of the water after the great flood. Seven and seven, two cows with sevens, correlates with two signs of Jonah with Noah's flood. He sent out a raven and later a dove from the ark, Genesis 8, 7 through 8. The dove returned without any symbol of life. Seven days later, he resent, resent the dove. This time it returned with an olive leaf, proving that the waters had almost completely subsided, although the ground was likely still waterlogged. He waited yet another seven days, double seven or seven seven, and sent the dove out again. This time it did not return, which meant that the ground was dry enough for many kinds of animals. In between the two signs of Jonah, seven days after each sign of Jonah, before the 70 days and after the 70 days. June 11th, Savan 1, Adar Fetur, breaking a Ramadan fast. Michael the lobster diver on June 11th, 2021 was swallowed by a whale. Real world happening. In 70 days, it will be August 20th off 12, when Noah sent raven and dove out of the ark and the dove came back. Seven days in between that is June 18th, Savan 8th. That day I had a dream of God's word piercing through my flesh and marrow, splitting me in half. This is three months and seven days from Nissan 1. June 24th, actually June 25th, Savan 15. Birth and passing of Judah 565 to 1446 BCE. Jude and Hayden saved from collapsed building and strawberry full supermoon. 70 days until September 3rd, of 26. Noah sent Dove out again and doesn't come back on that day. And 70 days later and the days in between. August 20th of 12. Noah sends Raven and Dove out of the ark and Dove came back. This is 40 days after July 11th to Moose 1 when Noah saw tops of mountains. First day, fourth, tenth before Moses, month. This is 70 days after Michael, real life scuba diver, was swallowed by the whale. Seven days after that will be August 27th of 19 when Noah sent the dove out again, and the dove came back with an olive leaf. September 3rd of 26. Noah sends dove out again, doesn't come back. This is 70 days since Jonah Hayden was saved from the rubble on June 25th, Savan 15. The two cows. On September 24th, 25th, sorry, 2014 is Tishri 2, the second day of the seventh Hebrew month. The day before was Noah's removed the ark covering, Rosh Hashanah, the Feast of Trumpets, and the Day of Awe. This is the first, first month, first day waters fully receded off of earth from Noah's flood. 56 days after that day will be when the earth was fully dried, or when Noah disembarked the ark. The two cows with the seven on the forehead in the news. September 25th, 2014. One of the cows was dark colored and had a fancy number seven on its head. The other cow was a red heifer with a plain number seven on his head. 
This is a story in the Bible that directly relates to this below uh, with Pharaoh and the two cows. Genesis 41, 17. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, In my dream, behold, I stood upon the bank of the river, and behold, there came up out of the river seven kine, flat-fleshed and well-flavored, and they fed in a meadow. And behold, seven other kine came up after them, poor and very ill-favored, and lean-fleshed, such as I never saw in all the land of Egypt for badness. And the lean and the ill-favored kine did eat up the first seven fat kine. And when they had eaten them up, it could not be known that they had eaten them, but they were still ill-favored as at the beginning, so I awoke. Here is the interpretation of the dream given by Joseph to the Pharaoh. Genesis 41, 29. Behold, there come seven years of great plenty throughout all the land of Egypt, and there shall arise after them seven years of famine, and all the plenty shall be forgotten in the land of Egypt, and the famine shall consume the land. And the plenty shall not be known in the land by reason of that famine following, for it shall be very grievous. There were two sets of cows with seven in each set. The first were seven fat cows, which represent seven years of abundance. 2014 to 2021, seven years in between September 25th. The second set were seven thin cows, which represent seven years of severe famine on the land. This literally came to pass in the days of Joseph while Israel was in Egypt. September 25th, 2021 to September 25th, 2018 will be another seven years. The famine is just about to start, guys. Also, seven years later will be September 25th, 2021. This will be three days after the autumn equinox on September 22nd or Elul 15. It will be two days after the next day of September 23rd, which is Elul 16, which would be the 150th day of the waters receding following Noah's Ark timeline of 2021. So on September 22nd, Elul 15 is the wine festival or Pentecost autumn equinox. 70 days from that date will be December 1st, Heshvan 27th, the 27th day of the second month, eighth month after Moses, water fully gone from earth. September 23rd, Elul 16, 150th day of water was receding after April 26, Nisan 14. 14 days, October 7th, until Noah opened the door of Ark, 56 days after that, the earth will fully be dried. 70 days from this day would be December 2nd, or Heshvan 28. Matthew 12, 38 through 45. Then some of the Pharisees and teachers of the law said to him, Teacher, we want to see a sign from you. He answered, A wicked and adulterous generation asks for a sign, but none will be given it except the sign of the prophet Jonah. For a sign was three days and three nights in the belly of a huge fish. So the Son of Man will be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. The men of Nineveh will stand up at the judgment with this generation and condemn it, for they repented at the preaching of Jonah. And now something greater than Jonah is here. The queen of the south will rise at the judgment with this generation and condemn it. For she came from the ends of the earth to listen to Solomon's wisdom. And now something greater than Solomon is here. When an impure spirit come out of a person, it goes through arid places seeking rests and does not find it. Then it says, I will return to the house I left. When it arrives, it finds the house unoccupied, swept clean and put in order. Then it goes and takes with it seven other spirits, more wicked than itself, and they go in and live there. And the final condition of that person is worse than the first. That is how it will be with this wicked generation. Jewish tradition points to the name of the month as symbolically appropriate. The letters of Elul form an acronym for the words in the verse Ani Ladodi Vedodi Li I am I beloveds and my beloveds is mine. Song of Songs six three. Believing that the beloved refers to God, the sages take this verse to describe the particularly loving and close relationship between God and Israel. Elul, then, is our time to establish this closeness so that we can approach the Yamim Noraim, 
or days of awe in trusting acceptance of God's judgment. We approach the trial not out of fear, but of love. I don't claim to know the day nor the hour. However, these signs of Jonah seem like they're pointing to September 25th. There may be other days it might be the Feast of Trumpets. However, the three days after the autumn equinox seems pretty uh, strong. All right. Bless you guys. Love you in Jesus' name. Jesus loves us. Jesus loves everyone, including every sinner.